Your morning news now. Donald Trump, President Donald Trump is threatening to permanently pull U.S. funding from the World Health Organization in a letter released on Twitter overnight. Trump says the organization needs to demonstrate independence from China and commit to major improvements in the next 30 days. So I'm taking the two, the zinc and the hydroxy. And all I can tell you is so far I seem to be okay. President Trump says he is taking hydroxychloroquine to tr prevent COVID-19. Back in March, the president touted the medication as a game changer. Experts say it's not clear if the anti-malaria drug is effective against the virus, and the FDA has said it should only be used for COVID-19 by patients being monitored in a hospital. The first named storm of 2020 brought heavy rains and high winds to the southeastern United States before blowing out to sea yesterday. Tropical storm Arthur arrived nearly two weeks before the hurricane season officially begins June 1st. This is the sixth straight year that the season has started early. Yeah, Arthur may have uh, kind of influenced our weather as well by kind of stalling that low pressure system that brought the rain around here uh, on Sunday. And because of that, it's still close enough. It's down in Illinois, Indiana state line. It's sending clouds and some moisture back into our area. So another uh, mainly cloudy day for today. New this morning, Governor Tony Evers announces there will not be another statewide safer at home order in Wisconsin. Evers abandoned the plan because he says Republicans have no interest in putting restrictions in place. His decision means a rule that was so controversial for the state will now be debated city by city. A $75 million fund will help small, struggling businesses in Wisconsin. The plan is part of the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation's We're All In effort. The fund comes mostly from federal money received in the CARES Act, helping businesses bounce back while maintaining safe environments. Funding from the CARES Act is allowing the City of La Crosse to distribute more than $500,000 in relief aid, but these funds are only available to those who need it most. Housing and coronavirus prevention for the homeless will be granted the most. That's $225,000 going there. Small businesses will receive $174,000. $90,000 will be given to child care centers. And City Planning and Victory Gardens will get about $30,000 between the two. $18,400 have been collected so far as part of the Lacrosse Bar and Restaurant Relief Fund. The fund was created in early April to help local businesses. Now, to put that in perspective, that is enough to cover a little more than 2,500 hours of pay for minimum wage employees. What happens in six months, a year from now, when I have to look a jury in the eye and tell them what I did to prevent the spread of this? And if your answer is nothing, then you're going to have a hard day in court. Legal experts are warning business owners that they could face lawsuits if they disregard CDC guidelines when reopening. A lot of business insurance policies don't cover costs related to disease spread, and the La Crosse Area Chamber of Commerce recommends waiting to open if you can. Reopening guidelines suggest creating sanitation points, making sure people wear masks, and that they socially distance. Valley View Mall in La Crosse is set to reopen this Friday with reduced hours. Mall management has confirmed to News 8 Now that it will be open from 11 until 7 Monday through Saturday and noon to 6 on Sundays. Goodwill is set to reopen its stores in La Crosse and on Alaska next Tuesday, also with different hours. Stores will be open from 10 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon every day. drive through donations are still being accepted, but those items will be held for at least 72 hours before it's available for sale. You can now find little free libraries by using a new location map created by the Free Book Exchange Movement. These boxes have transformed from just trading books into small pantries filled with toilet paper, food, and comfort items. Current temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s, and I'm looking at another mainly cloudy day, maybe a few sprinkles in spots primarily in our eastern communities. A bit warmer, though, with highs in the 60s. will be right around 67 in La Crosse, and then mid-70s with some sunshine tomorrow and Thursday. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. We hope you have a great Tuesday. We'll look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow morning.